Hello guys, this is Pavel Oskarov from Laravel Daily Team, team of developers who are trying to educate the market about Laravel and successful projects. Topic of today is convincing the client to upgrade versions. Versions of PHP, for example, version of Laravel, version of framework you're working on. So someone has to spend time on that. And pretty recently PHP 7.4 appeared. Uh, before that it was Laravel 6 instead of 5.8. And from time to time, new versions appear of software. And developers, of course, want to upgrade, not only because of new features of that language and new syntax and shiny things, but just for security updates, uh, for like just moving further and keep maintaining the project. But how to convince the client? Because clients are not technical people usually. They kind of they need to get convinced. Why should I invest in upgrading PHP version? It's all working now. We don't need to upgrade. There's no like bugs because of PHP version. So why? And think about it. If you don't upgrade PHP version or framework version, it doesn't bite you immediately, but it will bite you down the road. So in a year, in two years, in three years, when the version you are working on currently. Uh, becomes not supported officially and that also comes with security issues but on top of that if then you want to upgrade then upgrade would be much more uh, painful so for example uh, pretty recently i was approached by one client who had a project uh, with laravel 4.2 which is not a, not even laravel 5 laravel 4 and 4 to 5 was really significant change i think it was until 5.1 it was really significant then 5.1 to 5.4 was so-so, and then since Laravel 5.5, all the upgrades are pretty minor and easy, and it's almost fun to do them to upgrade the versions. So imagine that uh, client that didn't upgrade for quite a while comes to me and say, can you work with Laravel 4.2? First, I don't even remember the syntax of 4.2, and if I want to delegate to one of my teammates, probably no one even worked on that Laravel 4 version, or even if they did, they also forgot about that. Uh, and also, we need to kind of downgrade our mindset to remember how that old technology worked. So the problem becomes even to find someone who can work with older uh, framework or language version. And if, for example, you hire a developer who are like the upgraded version, they are interested in only the latest trends, they totally would use the newest syntax, newest packages, newest everything, and if you don't have server to support that, uh, then you would have uh, conflict. On top of that, uh, every project basically is a moving mechanism. Uh, it's a mindset thing. It's kind of like maintaining your car or your health. Uh, it's not even... Uh, that's the thing. So if you want to convince the client, try to talk to them in non-IT examples. So maintaining the car is pretty straightforward. So you have to, from time to time, you have to get your car to not only to repair stuff, but like change the oil, change the tires, something like that. For health check also from time to time, you should probably, it's not, it's optional again, but you should probably get your health checked from time to time. So this is similar. If you don't do that, it doesn't bite you immediately, but in the long run, you will suffer. And also, uh, it's cheaper to update sooner. Uh, again, if, if you don't update for a few versions, then uh, it cascades, it es escalates like a snowball, and that snowball takes much more time than to upgrade a few versions. And also, it's much more risky because it will introduce potentially uh, many more bugs down the road. Uh, so that my advice to you generally and what we're trying to do uh, with our team is to upgrade the versions almost as soon as they appear. Uh, not exactly as uh, guys like Spati uh, do with their packages. They're trying to move the market forward and force the newest version of Laravel and PHP. Uh, but we usually wait for like a few weeks or a month to like the stable version of uh, framework or PHP language and then try to upgrade. And uh, convincing the client and talking to clients is about their mindset so they would understand that the project is not fin it's not a product, it's not a finished thing. They are buying the process, they are buying the service uh, done by us, which includes upgrading uh, the frameworks. It's kind of a retainer. Uh, in WordPress space, it's really 
kind of convenient and typical to have retainer, uh, like maintaining of project. Uh, so companies pay like, I don't know, $50 a month or something uh, for developer to constantly upgrade newest WordPress, newest plugins, newest themes. Uh, for WordPress, it's even more dangerous because of the security issues with uh, older versions. So even then, uh, it's it's more uh, more like serious issue. But uh, whatever the framework is, whatever language you're working with, uh, if it's uh, the of course, of course there are exceptions. If major new version comes, so for example, if tomorrow we have Laravel seven, which would be a breaking change from Laravel six. Uh, which shouldn't be the case from what I know in February 2020 we will have Laravel 7 uh, but if there is a new breaking version which requires uh, redoing the core stuff of your uh, application then yeah it's a totally different uh, conversation but PHP version and Laravel version currently it's pretty seamless to upgrade and relatively easy of course you need to test it all locally on staging servers with I don't know uh, existing packages that you use in your uh, in your application and stuff like that but generally talking to client you have to convince them or just tell them in the human language there's no it's like it's not selling it's kind of a no-brainer almost if you are if you are telling them from the beginning, like, yes, we will deliver the project for you. And if you want to keep continuing uh, working on that, that would include from time to time upgrading the framework, upgrading the servers, upgrading uh, any versions that is needed, because then it would be much easier and much cheaper to maintain the project in the future. So that's my overall message to you. How did you convince your clients to uh, upgrade to PHP 7.4? Did you already or, or you are waiting for something? And if you have any thoughts on that video, comment below and subscribe to the channel as well. See you guys in other videos.